Okay, you're right. Welcome to your video tutorial on plotting linear graphs. So, what? What is it? Plotting points to form a linear graph can be done even if you're only given the rule. So, last lesson before the end of term, you were given what we like to call our nice little table of values, okay? X's and Y's and the whole enchilada, okay? And you were given your points or whatever they said. 2, 3, 4, and you're giving your numbers, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and you said, here's your Cartesian plane, pop your points in, draw your line, Bob's your uncle. Okay, today we are going to learn that I don't necessarily need to be given that table of values. We can actually plot a graph even if you're only given the rule. Okay, for example, let us plot the graph of y equals 3x plus 1. We know from the last section or last lesson that this equation is the rule for coordinates that form the graph. To plot it, we must form a table of values. We don't have one, but we have the rule. If we have the rule, we can form our own table of values. Okay, let's have a look at the following example. It says, draw up a table of values and plot the graph of the following linear relationship. And we get given something like we've seen in the past, a linear relationship that y equals 2x plus 1. So, whatever x is, I multiply it by 2 and I add 1 and then that will give me the y coordinate. Okay. So, this time I have to make up the table of values from scratch. Okay. And I get a basic table of values that starts at negative 2 and goes to positive 2. For each value of x, I have to find the relevant value of y. This relationship, or this rule, tells me exactly how to do it. So it tells me that I multiply x by 2 and I add 1 to get y. So let's have a look at the first x. It says negative 2. Let's multiply negative 2 by 2 to get me negative 4. And then if I add 1, negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. Remember with negative numbers I add, I move towards 0. Negative 3. Next x coordinate. The rule or the relationship tells me what to do. It says y equals 2x plus 1. So 2 multiplied by x, which is negative 1, 2 multiplied by negative 1 is negative 2. Add 1 becomes negative 1. Okay. 0 multiplied by 2 for my next coordinate. 0 multiplied by 2 is 0. Add 1 is 1. 1 multiplied by 2 is 2. Add 1 is 3. The very last one, x multiplied by 2 is 2, add 1 is 5. Okay, guys, that is how I draw up a table of values based on the rule or the linear relationship. Now, as I've learned in the past lessons, once I've got my table of values, I am able to plot the graph. So let's have a look at doing that. Here's my graph. Okay, so it says plot these points. When x is negative 2, so I start at the origin, I go across to negative 2, y is positive 3, okay? So I've gone, I'll just show you what I'm doing with some dots, okay? Sorry. I'll show you what I'm doing with red line. I'm going across to negative 2, okay? Now, I don't actually draw this in. I'm just drawing it to show you where I'm going. And y goes down, oh, sorry, y goes down to negative 3. So y goes down to negative 3. So it's going to be this little point in here. Okay, negative 2, negative 3 is in there. Again, when x, now I don't think I'm going to draw these red lines. That was just, again, a little bit of a revision for how to actually plot the points. When x is negative 1, so I go along to negative 1. I start at the origin. I go along to negative 1 on the x-axis. y is negative 1, so I go down to negative 1, which is there. Okay, when x is 0, so I'm at the origin. y is positive 1. Sorry, it's up there x0, y positive 1 is there. When x is 1, I start at the origin, I go along to 1 on the x-axis, y is 3, I go up to 3 there. Oh, whoops, that was a bit off, wasn't it? Sorry. Make sure they all have to be precisely on. Okay. When x is 2, I start at the origin, go across to 2, y is 5. Now, I don't actually have a 5 marked here, but I'm going to pretend it's up there. Okay. Now, you'll notice all of these plot, all of these dots, okay, on my on my Cartesian plane actually are lining up together. So what I do is I get my ruler out. My ruler. 
I always, 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 always use a ruler. If I don't have a ruler today and Mr. Corsi isn't there, I use the back of my diary. I use a book. I use any straight surface, but they must draw this with a ruler. Okay, I get from one dot point, okay, and I rule all the way up. Now, Mr. Corsi doesn't have a ruler on this application. I'm just going to draw as straight a straight right line as she can. Okay, once I draw that line through my points, I also write the rule. I always make sure next to my graph or on my graph or somewhere next to the line, I write the rule, which is y equals 2x plus 1. And that's it, guys. That's plotting those points.